to the Miss Arab USA pageant. It's been such an exciting week meeting and greeting with the contestants as well as the judges. The ladies are in the back right now preparing for this event. And man, I tell you, I'm so glad I'm not a judge for this competition. Hello, I'm here with Susie and we're backstage for the Miss Arab USA pageant. How do you feel right now? Really nervous and anxious and excited. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Dr. Angie Ghanayim. I'm born and raised in Chicago. I'm a first generation Ramallah Palestinian. I'm the youngest of seven girls. I'm an optometrist and I currently own my own private practice in Chicago, Illinois. Wow, nice, I think you won already. Don't say that to anybody. This competition, I mean, what have you done to prepare for it? I mean, it's, it's such a prestigious event to be at right now. First of all, I gave up chocolate for so long, for a while, just to keep in shape. <laughs> I made a fan page support group, um, and I have over 700 people that joined it, and it's just been a lot of fun since then, and the shopping and the hair, and it's been fun. So no meditating or anything like that? Uh, not really, no, <laughs> not really. Hey, you never know, everyone's different. There's only one winner. What have you done to prepare yourself as far as emotionally? I mean, there's one crown, one winner. What are you going to do if you don't take home that crown tonight? No, I'm taking it. There's your answer. We got it right here. We got a winner. <laughs> what inspired you to be in this competition? Well, for me, it was just I wanted to spread a positive message for women all around. You know, a lot of negative connotations are, you know, attached to the word Arab. Automatically, people link it to religion or terrorism or, you know, just with a lot that's been going on these days. And I just wanted to bring a more positive light to that and show it has nothing to do with religion, has nothing to do with what's going on, you know. We are independent, strong women, just like American women, African American. And I just, you know, wanted to be a positive role model for all girls. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm here with Dolly, and we're backstage at the Miss Arab USA pageant. How are you feeling right now? Uh, so happy, so nervous. <laughs> I'm feeling very excited and nervous. Are you going to the front? I'm sorry? So you're only interviewing the girls? Yes, I interviewed the judges, and I interviewed all the girls. Now I'm going to go interview some random people outside. Is this how we get out there? OK. We're back at the air live. Hi, I'm. Hi, we're back live at the Miss Arab USA competition. I'm here with first runner-up Susie. Oh, you okay? You did good. You did good. You did good. Good things will come your way. We are here live at the end of the show, and Jennifer Shahood is the first ever Miss Arab USA. What are you feeling right now? I am feeling like the luckiest girl in the world. This has been such an amazing experience, and all the girls were so sweet and humble, and I had all my supporters out here to help me, so right now I just feel like nothing can bring me down.